Hey everybody, welcome to Off-Road 801. Well, no adventure today. We got a DIY project that we got to get finished. If you don't remember, our trailer sort of got ruined by this last winter's record snowfall. Oh, this sucks. We had to do a little bit of demo. Bam, just like that. Now the repair part of the job has come. So my wife and I are up here. We're gonna try to patch this hole because summer's almost over and we got some things we need to get done besides just fix the trailer. This is not an engineered fix. This is a Curtis fix. I believe what I'm gonna do should be fine. I sort of expected the whole trailer to be smashed this year, but it wasn't, thank goodness. So we're gonna do the best we can to fix her up and see how much longer she'll last. So let's get to work. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. I got some old lumber. I got an old beam here that I've been saving for a long time, hoping I could build a shed maybe with it. But the trailer is more important than a shed right now. We gotta fix the trailer. So I'm gonna use these beams just as a baseboard kind of filler. The framing on the trailer is still pretty solid. At least that header piece, it doesn't look like it bowed at all. So I'm assuming that little header piece is pretty strong. I just gotta make the floor work. With the plywood I put on, it'll basically give it like a sheer wall kind of strength. So it should be good, good enough. If it smashes this winter, I'll just tear it down to a frame and build a tiny home on it. I don't care. I notched the beam right here to go around the wall a little bit so I could have something to rest my boards on. Hopefully it works. me a baseboard down. Now we can start hanging some angles so I can hang some studs off these aluminum studs. Don't have to come my way a little bit. Okay, hopefully we got enough angle and everything. Let's cut some studs, get those put in. somewhere now.
Okay, we're gonna go tied up against this board. Our wall is coming together. There's two more pieces on the outside. Sweet, we did it. We sealed off the hole so the flies will stay out now. The birds, mice, raccoons, all that good stuff. Ha, ah, what a relief. Now we just gotta do the inside and then I'll have to come back later, probably sometime next month and finish up the eve. So we'll be back. We got more to do. Okay, here's what it looks like on the inside. Now I'll just have to put some sheeting in here. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I think it's time to relax. I did manage to get two more boards up before I ran out of lumber. It's definitely beer 30 and I'm getting hungry. Hopefully we see some animals. We definitely got some hummingbirds. I will show you some hummingbirds here in a second because they're going kind of crazy. So that ought to keep the bugs out now. No more sleeping with a pile of flies. <laughs> Not really sleeping with them, but every time I moved the tarp, there was a hundred flies come flying at me. So I'm glad that's over with. It's the summer rush for food. The wildflowers are dying off. So the hummingbirds are hungry. These amazing little creatures never fail to put on a show. They usually keep us entertained all day long. And there's always one hummingbird that doesn't want to share.
We'll be back on an adventure next week. So until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.